Hey, 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 it's Rod Bergeron here with you, and uh, today we're going to have a look at uh, putting some ink wash onto this drawing that I did in a previous video. Um, basically, ink wash is just as it sounds that I'm going to use today this Bombay Black India ink, and it's super, super black, and you can use just all of your regular stuff that you use for watercolor, all your regular brushes. The Indian ink is just going to get diluted with water and I'm just going to use my normal mixing palette. Um, I'm also going to have on hand some paper towel and some tissue. I'm also wearing some old painting clothes, clothes that I paint in and clothes that I draw in all the time. And I'm going to suggest that you do that because if you get this ink on anything it just destroys it it will not uh, come off it's permanent absolutely 100 percent permanent uh, on your fingers it more wears off than it washes off if you take a little bit of detergent and a scrub brush it'll get it um, mostly off your fingers and your hands fairly quickly um, but let's talk about this i did this outside in plein air i did it in uh, graphite first you'll see a lot of my graphite lines are still on here and then I used uh, just a normal black sharpie and I drew in all the lines and today what we're going to do is we're going to just do some ink wash on top of this okay it's gonna be real simple real easy so the first thing I have to do is I want to take out all these graphite lines. So I don't want them there. I'm going to take my eraser and I'm just going to erase them all. Okay, so um, what it is that we're going to do is I'm going to have my uh, ink wash over here on the right and I'm going to have my water. Uh, handy. This has a dropper in it. I'm going to not do it over top of my work, but it has a dropper in it. And what you can do is I would suggest that you just put very, very few drops of ink out at a time. You don't need a lot of ink out. This is not what, what I'm going to do on here is not going to take um, a lot of ink. Um, I wanted to also say right from the beginning, I draw most of the time on watercolor paper. And so if you did this on normal drawing paper, you probably wouldn't be able to add an ink wash onto this. But because I'm doing it on watercolor paper, it's going to take it perfectly, perfectly fine. The first thing that I want to do here is I'm going to do these trees in the background back here and to do that I'm going to use a flat half inch flat brush and I'm going to wet that area so if you've ever watched any of my videos where I do um, if you watch any of my videos where I've done uh, watercolor in the past you'll know that the water on watercolor paper will just stay where you put it so the water won't go into any of the other areas I'm going to work in just the trees in the background here. So I'm going to try this on the side of my page, just like I would any other watercolor. I'm going to try it and I'm going to see if it's thin enough. And I think that's pretty thin considering the rest of my page here already has quite a bit of water on it. So this is going to thin this out. It's going to dilute it even more. In watercolor painting, we would call it the saturation level. And that's the same thing, that's the same uh, type of terminology that we would use with ink. 
Now you'll notice that this moves a lot quicker, spreads out a lot quicker than it ever would if you were using watercolor. Just shoots out really super quickly. Okay, that's, that's all right. Um, I'm gonna put a little bit of this same wash on this bit of field here. I'm gonna just use my brush. I'm gonna put a line down and I'm just gonna pull it out to the side like that. I'm gonna do the same thing across here. Just like that. I'm gonna wet my brush a little bit more. Okay, I'm gonna take a little bit more of this water and I'm gonna put a little bit more water here on the side. And I'm just gonna take a touch of this ink and put it into the water. And then I'm gonna try it on the side of my page again. That's all right. So I wanted to make sure that it's thinned out um, significantly. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna continue working on this sort of wet area of the, the barnyard here. And you'll see how this is drying up out, up in here very nicely. Okay, now I think I'm gonna do this road. And I think for this road, I'm going to also do a, um, uh, a bit of um, wet on wet. So I'm gonna wet the whole area of the road down along the edge here, down along the edge here, down along the edge here and then I'm going to flood this water all that water that I put down I'm going to flood that into the center of the page just like that and that water will all move across there I don't want it to be even I want it to move in there but I don't want it to move in there evenly I'm going to pick up some of this wash again I'm going to put this down along here I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna tap the brush onto the page, just like that. I'm gonna come down along here and do the same thing here. I'm gonna keep coming down across here, and I'm just gonna let that flood into that area. I'm not going to force it. I'm just gonna let it do its own thing. And I'm gonna pick up a little bit more of this wash, put it into this, and I'm gonna do the same thing here again. I'm gonna put it in here. This is gonna be a little bit darker, a little bit heavier, and it should flood into there also. And it should create an effect where it looks like there's a couple of layers, and that's all going to blend in there very nicely. I have over here an area that should be similar to this. In other words, it should be a little bit darker. And I'm hoping that this is going to do that. It should. Put this in here. Just going to allow that ink to flood into this area. Now I'm using a number four brush. If you were trying to be more careful than me, you would probably use a brush that would be um, you know, a little smaller than this, even down to a number one brush. Um, uh, but right now I'm just trying to get, um, I'm just doing this for YouTube. So I'm just trying to get, give you an idea of, of some of the different, um, some of the different techniques that we could use. Um, I'm going to take a little bit of ink here and a little bit of this wash and I'm not going to make this up super heavy. That might be a little bit too thick. I'm gonna put a little bit of water into that, water that down a little bit. Give that a try over here. That's more of what it is that I'm going for. I wanna make this ditch now. So I wanna make this um, go from the side here down into the ditch and back up. So that's the direction my strokes are going to all go in that kind of a direction where I'm going to swoop down and back up towards the road. 
swoop down, back up towards the road, swoop down, back up towards the road, and I'm going to keep doing that all the way across here. Swoop down, back up towards the road. All right, I'm not going to worry too much about what's going on on the side over here. I don't like these like straight lines that are across there, so I'm going to just fan those out a little bit like that. Yeah, that's it. That's 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 nice. That gives the idea of this is swooping down into the ditch. And along this ditch area right here, I'm actually going to wet this a little bit. I'm going to put a little bit of water along there and I'm just going to swoop that water from side to side. Maybe back up just like this a little bit and then back up like this a little. And then I'm going to pick up a little bit of this wash a little bit darker. Try it on the side of my page. It's not too bad. And I'm going to just put this right along here and I'm going to let that bleed out from those areas and that'll look that's going to give that a little bit of depth along there make it look a little bit look at what's happening to our road over here that's turning out fabulous um, the I'm going to deal with this barn board right now not with the sheet metal roof not with the concrete or anything I'm going to just deal with the barn board so I'm going to wet this whole area. Um, I really like what's happened here on this barn. I really like what's happened here in the ditch and this road. Those are all turning out, you know, pretty much exactly what it is that I want them to be. I'm going to take this brush and I'm going to wet my area where my doors were here, and my windows. I'm going to try to not cover up all my hatching because I worked kind of hard to get that hatching in there. So I don't really want to cover up all of that hatching that I had there. I'm going to take some of this darkness now and put it into this bit of water that's still lingering around here from the trees. And I'm going to put that into those areas where those trees are because those trees are going to need some darkness in them anyway. So I have this dark wash mixed up so why not use it? Oh yeah, that's coming right along. Okay, so some more dark wash here. Be careful not to get too much on your brush at a time. You don't want this to splatter into this area that you're trying to preserve as white space. So, you know, try to keep the, the amount of liquid that you're dealing with at any one time. Try to keep it down to, a, you know, a minimum. Any area that you want to be dark now, you can take your, your dark wash and just put it into it. I'm going to make all of this area along here significantly darker than those. Okay, so I've left this for about, um, I guess about almost two hours this has been drying. Um, I had some areas that were very wet around here and so they took a little bit longer to dry of course and it's a kind of a humid kind of a day so everything's not drying up very well. I just noticed that in here I have a couple of places where there's a little bit of a graphite line that I don't really want. I thought I took all those out of there but apparently I didn't and I have this handy little brush. I'm going to take those out just like that. Um, 
If you notice in the photograph of this, that these, that this roof and this roof are really, really well lit. And uh, this side here is uh, green, and this is concrete down the bottom here. But I'm going to, ch I'm going to put this in here as a very, very light wash, and then I'm going to put um, this tin part in as a very light wash. And to do that, I'm going to use this um, flat. This would be a quarter inch brush and I'm just going to wet this brush. I'm going to put some water across here. An area here. I'm going to pick up a little bit of this. Make a fairly thin wash. I don't want this to be very thick at all actually. I'm going to try this over here on the side. That's going to be all right. I'm going to put this into here. That. Keep that going. All right, that's turned out not too bad. I'm really liking what's happened here to these trees. I'm not touching these telephone poles. They're going to basically stay exactly the same as they are right there. I am going to put in um, a little bit of a shadow of the barn coming across in this direction. So I'm going to wet the area that I want to be shadow. I'm going to make a crisp, clean line across the bottom here. Wet all this. And I'm going to take this a little bit thinner. Again, thin this out a little bit more still. And I'm going to try it on the side of the page here. That's not too bad. I'm going to put this in here. All the way across here like that. And we're going to sort of give this some direction this time. I'm going to point this in a very specific direction. And then we're going to just let that bleed. This here has to be on a very similar angle. All right, now we're just going to let that bleed and we'll come back and have a look at this when this dries. Okay, I think that's it for this one. Um, Lots of good um, contrast between white and dark. Many, many, many different layers, uh, different amounts of gray, different amounts of black that are going on in this. Um, I think everything that I wanted to accomplish, I accomplished in this. I think I'm gonna call this wet ditch because this to me really looks like a wet ditch. And um, I really, I'm really impressed with some of the, you know, the mixing and the modeling that went on here with the ink and the, the wash and the pen and ink and everything. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching me do this. If you learned anything from this, I hope you give me a like. I really appreciate it when uh, people like my videos. Um, I want to know what it is that you want me to do in the future. So please leave me a comment and tell me, you know, what it is that you uh, want to see from me. And um, if you're currently a subscriber, I thank you very much. If you're not currently a subscriber, please consider subscribing to my channel. I really do appreciate it and it really does help out a lot. Thanks a lot and we'll see you again next time.